Okay guys, uh, I'm kind of just going to show you a little bit about my Simply Safe home security system. Uh, I recently got this for my house. Basically, uh, just to secure the house a little bit more. I have a kid on the way, so it makes me feel a bit more safe knowing that my house has a security system and if anything happens while I'm away, you know, the police will be notified and everything will be taken care of. So this little thing is the base station. Um, it's pretty basic, just has a power cable and a phone line cable, which in the event anything happens, you know, police are notified and uh, the dispatch center from Simply Safe will contact you and make sure everything's okay. Uh, basically, it just it, it has some neat features to it. Um, it actually has the ability to wirelessly synchronize with your your website settings for Simply Safe, and I'll go into that later. Uh, you can set all kinds of different things. You can literally name every sensor, which this is an entry sensor. You can name every sensor so if someone broke in when you were away from your house, you can have a text message sent to you. It'll actually tell you what entry sensor they broke in under. Uh, so for example, this one I have named as my computer room uh, left window because I have a dual window set up here. Uh, anyways, this is kind of cool. Um, anytime you open a door or window, the unit kind of makes a little noise, like a ding dong. Um, and then hopefully you can see that you kind of get a little blue indicator light when the sensors are in place. Uh, I installed this system myself. Uh, I'm actually, I consider myself fairly technical. Uh, I work with computers for a living and I've done quite a bit of things related to them. Uh, this was a simple task. I've also done a lot of stuff to my house. I finished my basement and ran electrical wiring and all this. This stuff is as easy as it gets. Um, literally, there's two stickers, 3M. There's a sticker for the base. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna consider this the base. And then there's a sticker for the actual sensor that has to be within, I think it's two to three inches of, this, of the base. So, super easy, just literally tape. Uh, 3M tape, it just, you just pop it in place, stick it in place, and make sure they're lined up. Um, you can tell they're lined up. I don't know if you can see this, but, um, you probably can't. But there's a little line here and down here. They're kind of like hash marks, so you know where to stick the sensor on. So I put the base first, and then I line up the sensor with the little hash marks. And I don't think that's going to come out in the video, but, uh, they are there, and you'll see them when you get your system. So, I basically opted for entry sensors, these are called, uh, for every single window and door in my house. Um, I do have the motion sensor, but I kind of turned that off because I was worried about my dog setting off the sensor, uh, being that she's around 60 pounds, pretty big dog, and I was worried about the sensor being set off when I'm away and, you know, the police being called and all that. I didn't want that to happen. So, um, I'm going to move over to the keypad, which kind of comes with the unit. Uh, you usually put that uh, right by your door, so I'm going to go find that for you. So, on to our keypad. Uh, let me get my hockey sticks out of here, sorry about that. This is the keypad. It's also on there with 3M tape. Um, basically, just sticks on. Uh, you want to have it within a uh, certain radius of the base station. I believe it was 150 feet, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Simply Safe includes amazing instructions with all this. It tells you where to put the sensors, the distance they could be. Uh, it tells you everything. Uh, anybody can install this system. It's so easy because it's just 3M tape. Um, so, the keypad, uh, it's your typical keypad. You can arm the system in away mode, home mode, or off. Which, I'm turning mine off right now for a second. I'm going to put you down while I type my pin in. Okay, now our alarm's off. Um, so... That's, you know, 
I can't explain this any easier. It's just off, away, or home. Now, um, the other very cool thing with this system, you can set certain sensors to be uh, to have different functions to them. And I'm going to show you this through the actual website application they have. You can actually set certain sensors to be instantly triggered, like immediately when somebody opens the door, the sensor goes off. Uh, or you can have a delay on them and you can customize the delay. So like for example, your front door, if you want to walk in the house and have 10 seconds to deactivate the alarm, you can set a 10 second delay or 20 or 60, whatever you may want it to be. Um, I personally set every single sensor in my house to be immediately triggered if it opens, just so I'm alerted and I can react accordingly. Um, the reason I do that is simply because I have the iPhone app and I can literally deactivate my alarm with my iPhone uh, from outside, like when I open my garage door, I can deactivate it and then come in the house. So this is just another entry sensor and then another entry sensor. And so you get the point, I have these on every single door that goes outside. Um, basically, this, I kind of doubled up on this door in here. Uh, I have one on this exterior door. I guess I'm a little bit paranoid, but I have one right there on the exterior door. Um, so I have, the sensors on every door and window. Um, I'm actually going to show you the software and what it looks like online on their site. Uh, it's really cool because you can uniquely name every sensor. Every sensor actually has a serial number, which I'm going to put you up here to see if you can see it. Hopefully you can see that I'm just pointing and aiming. But every sensor has a serial number and you can assign a unique uh, text name to it. So this would be front door, garage door, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm going to pull up the website software. So I'll put you down for a second and pull that up on my computer so you can actually see it. And I'll show you some of the neat features that it comes with. Uh, I am subscribed to the $25 a month service, which allows applications for the phone to control the system and whatnot. Uh, so your mileage may vary depending on what service level you have. But uh, I'm going to put the camera down, I'll pull up the software so you can see for yourself, and I'll pull up my phone so you can see the app. Alright. Okay, these are a few of the features that the site offers you. Uh, I'm going to try to show you what I can without incriminating myself uh, with my address and whatnot. Um, I don't want people finding that out. <laughs> but uh, here's some basic info. Uh, it's kind of cool. These are all texted to my phone as well. So... Uh, for example, I'll give you this one, alarm, entry sensor, and then it, you know, lists the sliding glass door. This was me, uh, I accidentally forgot to disarm the system in the morning, went to take my dog out, and the alarm went off. Uh, this was actually texted to me as well. It said, uh, your alarm has been, you know, activated, entry sensor, sliding glass door. So, if that was somebody breaking in my house, I'd know where they came from. Um, I also own weapons, so I found this feature to be particularly useful. If I'm sleeping, I get a text message, the alarm goes off, I can quickly look at my t cell phone to find out what entry sensor was breached, and I would know where to hide myself appropriately to be safe, uh, to, you know, defuse the situation, do what I need to do with my weapons. Um, very useful for that reason in my eyes, um, just because of the fact that I would like to know where somebody's breaking in at in my house if I'm stuck in the house at that time. So a very interesting feature there. Um, I'm going to put you down here and go to another page of interesting things I see. Uh, I'll be right back in a second. Okay, uh, here are some other neat features that this service has. Um, again, I'm on the 25 a month plan. I don't know what the lower tiers offer, but this is some cool features that I've seen that come with mine. Uh, so first off you have your master pin which is a, a pin number you choose and you can set pin numbers for family members uh, such as you know your dad, brother, wife, whatever you may want. You can set a pin number for up to five people, four people, sorry. You can also set a duress pin which um, basically if an intruder comes in and 
they're forcing you to turn off the alarm system, you could type this pin in, it'll disable the alarm and send a signal to the police, which is very cool. Uh, other little features that come with the unit, base station light, uh, that's up to you. I don't care to have it off, so I just keep it on. Voice prompts, um, which I have to see what that one is for. Uh, base station provides useful voice prompts for you. Okay, so it tells you when the alarm's on, what mode it's in, uh, door or window open, etc. So that might be good to have. Uh, door chime, yes. Uh, you can adjust volume. The entry delay was what I was talking about earlier. Uh, zoom me in a little bit. You can set a delay so uh, the alarm doesn't kick in right away when you enter the house. This would be useful if you do not have the iPhone app or Android app or uh, somewhere around here I have a little keychain. Here we go. I'm going to show you this. Uh, I have a little keychain here which came with my unit. Uh, sorry. If you don't have the Android or iPhone app, take this with you. You can arm and disarm your system right from your vehicle. Uh, uh, this way, you know, if you want to set all your sensors to instant trigger like I have mine, in the event of an emergency, I have them all instantly going off right the second they, they uh, open. This would be useful for you. Um, then there's, of course, your exit delay, which when you exit your house, you have 60 seconds to get out before the alarm goes off. Um, none of these actually apply to me because everything I have is instant. Uh, what I do is I get out of my house, get in my car, and I turn the alarm on through my iPhone app or this little keychain. So uh, this may be applicable to you and you may use it differently. This is just how I have it set up. Next are the um, the neat little features I thought was the coolest thing with this system. Every sensor comes with a unique serial key and every sensor you can apply a uh, you can apply a name to. So in the event someone broke in, you're actually texted by this service what uh, sensor was breached, which is useful to me, again, for reasons I stated earlier. Uh, I like to know where people are coming in if I'm stuck in the house. So each sensor, very cool. You can give it a name, and when it texts you, it tells you what was open, what the issue was, and it logs it. So that's awesome. Uh, the other cool feature is you can set different modes for each sensor that you have in the system. You can set certain sensors to, to alarm uh, on away only or home only. And the reason you might do that is, uh, let's say for example when you're home, I'll give you my, my scenario where I just breached a sensor the other day with my dog. Uh, in home mode, if I arm my system in home mode, maybe I'll set my sliding door um, to not go off because when I'm home, all I use is the sliding door to get you know, my dog out and go to do barbecues and whatever. I'm not opening any other doors. Um, or you know, maybe I'm a smoker and in the middle of the night I wake up and I go out the sliding door to smoke. Uh, whatever it may be. You can set it to uh, away only or you can set it to home and away. So I guess in that scenario, uh, that wouldn't apply. But each sensor you can apply different settings to, uh, and you can set it to be instantly triggered uh, or to just have a delay on the trigger, which your delay would be the entry delay. So if I didn't have mine set to instant trigger, they'd, they'd have a 30 second delay before they go off. And I'd be able to disarm the system. I don't want that, I want them all instant which is a cool feature. Um, I have owned systems in the past. It's I'm talking way past, like 10 years ago, and I don't remember any of them having instant triggers. I remember there being a slight delay, usually like 30 seconds before it would trip the system off. So I could be wrong on that now. Uh, a lot has changed since then, but for a do-it-yourself system, the amount of customization that this gives you is fantastic. So The other cool thing on this page is the ability to add extra sensors. Uh, maybe you can only afford to start with a smaller kit, like an eight-piece kit, uh, and then next paycheck you buy three more entry sensors to cover the remainder of your house. Um, you can simply click the Add Sensor button uh, to add an additional sensor to your system. I can't do it right now because uh, I don't have any extra sensors ordered on my account. 
um, and you'll just type in the serial number, give it a name, which is optional, basement door, whatever it may be, uh, and then save it. And when you send changes to your base station, it sends all the updated settings to the base station, which was the first thing I showed you, uh, wirelessly. Um, they actually tell you to use this keychain thing uh, to save changes, but I found out I, I didn't really have to. Um, everything saved wirelessly, because this is actually a USB stick, uh, as you can see the end there. I took the cap off. Uh, but when doing everything through this awesome website interface, um, it allows me to make all the changes and everything right through the site, and it wirelessly syncs them to my device, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to put you down, I'm going to show you the iPhone app. It's super generic, but it does the job, and it's super handy if, you know, you're in your car, coming into your house, and you want to disable the system. Uh, I would like for them, on the iPhone app, to set up some type of password code that you need to enter, like, for example, maybe you need to enter your house PIN number on the application. Um, like like the actual PIN number you set up for your security system for the master PIN number. I would like that every time you open that application, you need to enter that master PIN. But we'll have to see if that happens. So I'll show you the app now. Okay, so this is the iPhone application um, that I have. There is also one for Android. My wife uses it uh, on her Android phone. The things I dislike about this are, one, there's not much security on the application. It would be fantastic if every time you launch the application they made you enter your master PIN code for your alarm system. This way, if someone finds your phone, they can't just go in and disarm your system. Um, the other annoying thing with the application is it literally has your address right at the top of the application. So that's why I have the piece of tape over it, so you can't see my address. Um, so if someone stole your phone or you lost your phone, they'd open this application, they'd find out where you live, they'd know how to turn off your alarm system so they could rob you. I don't necessarily like that. I think it's a bad design. Um, so that's that piece of the actual application. Um, there are a couple other features. The event screen, which is already what you saw online you saw the event logging online. There's the same page for that on here. Um, let me go in and log back in here. There's a couple other sensors on here. Burglar status. Uh, I've never seen that one come up, but I imagine if you're armed and home or away and someone broke in, it would, you know, burglar status alert and it'd tell you what sensor they broke in under. Home temperature, that's if you have this thermostat control. I don't use that because I have an automatic thermostat. Fire alarm status, there aren't any fire sensors yet from Simply Safe, as far as I know. Uh, at least there weren't at the time I bought this, which is only about three weeks ago. CO2 status, uh, carbon di or carbon, I think it's carbon monoxide. Um, there's no sensors for that either from what I saw. Flood status, I imagine this one's for your water heater. You stick this sensor by your water heater. If a pipe bursts, you know about it. Uh, I don't think it would do any good to you in the uh, light of a flood, because what are you going to really do in a flood? Um, so that's basically the application. There's the event log. Pretty simple. Um, it just logs every event that happens with your system, which is great. Uh, I, I check it every day. And I also have alerts, which go to my phone, and it'll pop up as a text message, and it'll let me know. Uh, contact us page just has some basic info on it. Um, so that's the iPhone app. It's pretty simple. It looks the same on the Android OS and uh, it's great because every single alarm sensor I have is instant trigger. I use this to arm and disarm the system and it works like a charm. Um, I've used the system for about three weeks now and I've never had it fail through the application or the keychain, so I've never set off my own alarm with it. Uh, the only time I did that when I was letting my dog out when I forgot I had the system, so that's good. Uh, and just like any other system like ADT, if you set off the alarm, they'll call you on your primary number, then your secondary number, and you can tell them your safe word. Uh, every person sets up a safe word to establish, 
and once they do that everything's clear and you're good to go so you know it's just like ADT and whatnot um, I'm trying to think if I uh, can think of anything else uh, so my overall review of the system is it's extremely easy to install um, literally I'm gonna just show you one more time how easy it is to install this system it's literally two sensors for each actual sensor that you have um, this is my basement I don't even think anybody can fit through this damn window uh, you would have to be pretty damn skinny but I guess you can call me paranoid I got sensors on these little tiny windows in my basement and as long as you know they're within I believe it's either two to three inches uh, maybe it's one to two inches uh, their installation guide is very specific uh, as long as they're reaching and and they're meeting that distance they're gonna be fine uh, my motion sensor I actually have installed down here uh, this is the motion sensor with the kit uh, I was too paranoid to put it upstairs so I put it down here you know in case I don't know I don't know how anyone else would break in through any other means but I just put it down here but as a review of the system I mean extremely easy to work with uh, very easy to install once I had all the sensors done it literally took me like 10 minutes to set up the base station to recognize all of them uh, it probably took me another 10 minutes to name each sensor so I knew what they were and uh, this way also online if you go back each sensor has a status open or closed if there was a sensor that was faulty or not working properly you would know on that status screen they should all say closed if your um, if your sensor is not working uh, it would say open and you'd have an issue that you need to address and you'd know exactly what sensor to go to to fix. Um, one other cool feature I forgot to tell you about, the base station comes with rechargeable batteries and they are actually recharged by the power cable in the base station um, that you plug into the wall. So if your power ever goes out you have battery backup for the base station. I want to say the website said it lasts for like 24 hours but it might be more than that I'm not sure. Uh, you can check the Simply Safe site to uh, get some more details on that. But other than that, for 400 bucks, I did everything myself. I know it's done right. I hate paying people to do stuff, especially when I can do it myself and I feel that I do a better job of it. And I take my time and make sure it's done properly. And if I ever need to add anything to it, I'm confident that I can do it myself with the basic knowledge. And uh, that's really all I can think. It's a great system good bang for your buck. Uh, the only thing I do not like is the application for the phones. I think there needs to be more security on that with both an encrypted pin and they need to get your address off of it because that's just saying, hey, I live here. Here's the way to turn off my alarm system and rob me. I don't like that. So that's my only gripe. Um, and there's no commitments, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, 25 bucks a month. I have every feature that they have and I have no monthly commitment like you know ADT where you're paying 50 bucks a month and you have to sign a three-year contract there's nothing like that there's no contracts and I know they're adding video monitoring soon I think smoke detectors are on the way and it's gonna be nice to be able to expand my system once they add new components um, you know in the event of a fire they can call the fire department and whatnot that'll be great when they add that so an awesome system anybody can install it if you can install a sticker on a piece of paper you're good to go uh, I couldn't recommend it more and uh, it's a great system on a budget and you can do it all yourself. So I hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions just let me know. Uh, post in the comments and I'll try to answer them as, as they come in. Alright, take care.